You might remember cops blanketing downtown Albuquerque after businesses complained of rampant crime. But these extra patrols were just a band-aid to Councilor Pat Davis. APD sent a whole bunch of new police officers to First and Central for a little while to make it safer. But then we needed them in other places and the problem returned. And now Davis thinks he has a long-term solution. At the end of the day, we know we want to get back to community policing. Davis has introduced a bill that would allow a group of businesses or property owners in major parts of the city to create a crime plan for their area. That might include more patrols, better lighting or surveillance cameras. Next, they submit it to APD. And if it's feasible, the city would pay half to make it happen, up to $50,000. The group of businesses, though, would have to pay for the other half. You think businesses will be excited about this or do you even think they'll buy into it? Yeah, like I said, this came from a couple of months of meetings on Central Avenue businesses by the university where they were just getting hammered every day. But some businesses told us they're skeptical about paying for their own crime plan. But I'm already paying for insurance and business costs or there's always something, so I don't have a solution. But I'd like less crime. Some said APD should just do its job. I don't think that businesses should be responsible for, for things like that. I think that that is the city's job to keep us safe. Davis knows the idea isn't perfect and will have to get a thumbs up from the council and the mayor before it goes forward. Matt Howerton, KOAT, Action 7 News. And within the last hour, a storm headed for the U.S. Gulf Coast was upgraded to a hurricane. Hurricane Nate will make landfall tomorrow. ABC's Steve Osinsami shows us how all those states are preparing. Across the Gulf tonight, this is a state of emergency and they're racing to get ready for this storm. We're going to flood. I know we're going to flood. And that's why I'm here. Otherwise, I'll be still at the office right now. In New Orleans, they're especially worried. A dozen of the city's drainage pumps that they need to keep the city dry aren't working tonight. Teams are out this evening clearing drains. In parts of Orleans, St. Bernard and Jefferson parishes, more than a thousand families are being forced to leave their homes. One of the greatest threats to this storm is not necessarily interior rain, but storm surge. Billy Rost is leaving tonight. He's moved everything off the ground. You don't know what the surge is going to do. If you don't pick it up, you lose it. This, this is like a gamble. Three feet of... <laughs>